Hello folks and welcome to Tech TV. Gareth and Eloise here. Today we're walking around this lovely sunflower field. It raises money for charity. So we're walking around here and I do believe the sunflower is my favourite flower and there's 70,000 of them in this field. So I'm going to take you guys over to a hoof that we treated last week and uh, we hope you enjoy. I don't know what you would call us, but I think we're good down under the name of hoof trimmers. When we got this cow into the crush and assessed her hooves, it was clear that both back feet were a mirror image of each other. This is quite a common thing to see. There was something going on in and around the sole ulcer site, or this black area in the middle of the claw. I start trims like these with the knife, because once hoof is off, it's off. An effect of hoof trimming is actually about what you leave on sometimes, as opposed to what you take off. You may have noticed, I'm wearing different gloves in this video. I was really happy with the gloves we used to use, but they are no longer available. So we are trialling different kinds. I really hope we can find something as good as the last ones, as I find we go through several sets of gloves each day. I guess as humans, we really don't like change. As well as excessive horn growth on the sole, this cow has actually got quite long toes, so I have to trim a few centimetres off the toe length. So this cow has a sole ulcer, just the same as she had in the back left foot. Sole ulcers often occur when badly shaped or overgrown feet are left too long without correcting the weight balance with a routine trim. To treat this or any other sole ulcer effectively, we need to remove the horn around it to relieve the pressure from the lesion. We also need to apply a block to further reduce the pressure. This girl also has an interdigital growth. 
infected with digital dermatitis in between her claws. We can't cut this out as it's live tissue, so we clean it off and wrap it with Intracare gel. You might think that was Tom breaking wind in the background, as he does quite a lot, but in actual fact, this time it was the gel bottle. This bandage has a two-in-one benefit. It will help the digi on the growth and it will also help the sole ulcer to heal. she goes a lot more comfortable than she was 20 minutes ago. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Hoof of the Week. We hope you enjoyed it and if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video. We will see you all soon.